This is Corey Willis with PVI, and you're listening to the Diesel Podcast. I'm Adam Blattenberg from Diesel World. This is Dan, owner of Dan's Diesel Performance. I'm Cass from Diesel Doctor of Tennessee, and you're listening to the Diesel Podcast. What is going on, Diesel Nation? We're excited to have you guys with us on UCC Week. And today we're going to be chatting with Josh Scruggs, and he's been on the podcast before to tell us about his UCC build, but today we're going to ask him what the last couple days and weeks have been like getting the engine in the truck and making some final adjustments to it, and what his goals are as he's getting ready to head into the competition. So we're excited to be able to chat with him on a really busy, hectic last you know couple days here before all the racing, sled pulling, dyno competition starts. We want to thank a couple of our sponsors that helped make episodes like this one possible and the first is bd diesel performance and you're going to hear about bd on this podcast and a bunch of other ones that we're doing they do a ton with the racing community and there's so much information they're able to get from these these teams that are pushing the limits of their trucks and be able to take that information and make better parts for our tow rigs and our daily drivers so make sure you check out dieselperformance.com they've got a ton of different upgrades for cummins duramax and power stroke really easy to navigate site and if you have questions make sure and give them a call they're they're more than happy to chat with you guys help guide you through the process of modifying your trucks for however you want to use it. And also Diesel World Magazine. Diesel World's going to be at UCC. You're going to see a ton of information behind the scenes, pictures and write-ups and things like that that are going to come out of it. So make sure you go to dieselworldmag.com, bookmark the page, pick up an issue. And if you're a diesel enthusiast, that's all, it, it's something you got to have. you got to be able to check it out because they bring such unique content to the diesel community. You're missing out if you don't. All right, let's get to this podcast with Josh and learn about his final preparations for UCC. Josh, welcome back to the Diesel Podcast. It's great to have you on now that we're at UCC week. On our our last episode, we had talked about uh, the truck and some things you were doing with it. We wanted to catch up with you before the event started. Yeah. Is the, uh, I mean, what's the last couple weeks been like getting ready? Hectic. (laughs) <laughs> I remember last time we chatted I think the engine wasn't there But it was just about ready to deliver You guys got that all Kind of buttoned up and, and ready to go I think so We wound it up I guess it was last week Tried the engine dyno It was having a little bit of trouble Getting some things figured out So Levon, a power pump Invited me up there To get on his dyno and wind it up the industrial sent Bob Milliken out and we got her figured out I can't thank them guys enough on that side of it that made good power on low pulse width with no nitrous we never really give it a full hit to see what it would actually do but kind of got back here Oh, I guess Friday I got back here and went to a local track and then had some issues with the transmission. So I'm getting ready to put a transmission back in it this morning. And I leave tonight. Nice. I, th- I think uh, in chatting with a lot of the competitors, it's it's almost like the last week or two is a blur. And it, it's just, I think the excitement's building and and it's the, the biggest stage out there you know, to compete. And, and I wanted to ask you, you know, what are some of your goals or what would you define as a successful UCC competition as you, I mean, we're just a, you know, a day or two away from it, from it kicking off. At this point, the way everything's been going for me, I would be happy if I just make it to every event. It, it seems like the consistency is really, really kind of the key, you know? Yeah. And getting the, uh, the truck ready, there's, you know, a lot of different, a lot of different people, a lot of different companies. Who are who are some people and some some partners or sponsors or, or just companies out there that you'd like to thank for helping you get ready for this? Oh, Industrial Injection, BD's been a big help with everything. Hot Shot Secret, Vibrant, Fire Pump, Chaos Fabrication. It's been a load of people come in, Nitrous Express, just about everybody's been on the phone with me within the last two weeks of trying to figure things out last minute. I think it's really cool, though, when all these different companies can come together, 
because of the the passion and the excitement and and wanting to help and it's a it's, it's a theme we've been hearing a lot you know i think every year but but especially you know this week is all the help people are willing to give to be able to help you know the race teams the 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 trucks and just put on a great show for the people that are there and the people that are going to be watching on on live feeds and the, all the magazines and the media that are there and everything else yeah like i said i can't thank lavon miller and the team up there at fire punk enough they was getting ready for rudy's crunch time and he invited me into his shop with another problem child of a truck to try to get figured out in the same week so it's very much appreciation for them guys up there yeah that's that's a that's a huge testament to I mean, you know, you went through getting getting ready for UCC. It's just, it's crazy and it's busy. And then, you know, helping out other teams and, and figuring things out is, I think, what really makes diesel performance and racing and and the community very special. And motorsports is is that right there. Yeah, now, as far as uh, the the setup is, are there any changes that you made, or are you still kind of, you know, sticking with with what we had uh, chatted about on the last podcast? Uh, the single kind of went out the window because I didn't have enough time to get testing in for both air setups. So I stuck the twins on it, and the twins just stayed on it, and they'll probably stay on it till after UCC when I get some time to get some testing in on it. But other you're... than that, just about everything else is basically the same. Well, we're really excited to see you go out there and compete and and the the, the truck that you have and the platform and, and all the hard work that you put into it is is I think gonna be a fan favorite and so we're we're excited to to see it compete, you know, in all the different events and and get your feedback on it and hear what you think of, you know, U C C after you know, you compete and get kinda of settled in and and everything like that and I know you said this week's really, really hectic and busy and there's a ton going on, but I appreciate you taking time out of your day to, to chat with us and give our listeners kind of an inside look at, at what crunch time's like for the ultimate call-out challenge. It sucks. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it's a lot of work, but it seems like it's never done until the last second. Yeah. Well, it's hard, you know, and especially, you know, you're, you, you've got a business, you've got other things going on, you've got you know, putting together a truck to go compete with the, you know, it's the, the, I'd say the most competitive diesels that are out there in the world. And I think it's hard for, for everyone. And it's just like, that's one of the exciting things about doing these podcasts this week is like, how do you guys do it? How do you get through it? <laughs> um, for me, it's been a lot of cigarettes and a lot of coffee. <laughs> Coffee doesn't. I ain't a big energy drink fan, so the only thing I got to help me out is coffee. <laughs> me too. That's kind of that's kind of my my go to is is coffee and a whole bunch of it throughout the day. <laughs> yeah, I think last week when I was up there at Firepunk, I don't think any of us went to bed before two or three o'clock in the morning and wake back up and start the day at seven thirty. That's that's what's so cool about about um, you know chatting with with you and and some of the other competitors this week is is telling that story because you know like on the outside looking in or you're on social media or just you know diesel fans all over the country is we see it start we see the events and then we don't necessarily know what went into it the week or two before or the month before and there's a lot of hard work we wanted to make sure that you know the, our listeners out there and just diesel enthusiasts in general know how much hard work you guys put in and how many companies come together to really help help make this event what it is it's about the racers and it's about the fans yeah just about all the sponsors have checked in with me this week to see how things is going so they they keep an eye and make sure everything is there for you and try to help you out well we appreciate your time today josh and like i said we we wish you the best of luck we'll be we'll be rooting for you and make sure and and uh reach back out to us after you're all done and everything let us know what what it was like and and just what your thoughts were. All right. I uh, appreciate the phone call. 
Don't forget, diesel fans, make sure and head on over to BD Diesel. Check out what they've got for your Cummins, Duramax, and Power Stroke. Go to dieselperformance.com. And also Diesel World Magazine. They're going to be covering everything going on with UCC from you know, performance, vendor row, tons of different things, and be able to tell you a story that you're not going to get otherwise. So go to dieselworldmag.com, bookmark that page, make sure you visit, and also pick up an issue. There's tons of great information that are that come out in them all year long. So whether you're looking for product reviews or builds, really cool things like that, they deliver very unique content that you're not going to find anywhere else. Till next time, keep the shiny side up.